Welcome to the Mantis Bible Study 4 video series. This is the Strong's Cross-Reference Tool video, and uh, we're going to show how to use this Strong's Cross-Reference Tool, which is designed to work with uh, any of the Strong's-based Bibles, the uh, King James Version with Strong's, New American Standard with Strong's, uh, Complete Word Study Bible, or any of the Bibles that have Strong's numbers. Um, we're going to use the uh, King James Version with Strong's today, and uh, we're doing a study today on uh, the word salvation. Uh, 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 5 mentions uh, faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. And so we're going to start with a little word study on uh, salvation. So we're going to click on salvation here to see uh, that it's Greek word 4991 in the Strong's Dictionary, soteria. And uh, if I was uh, going to look for other uses of that word 4991 in the New Testament. I can just click on find here and I can preview verses to see where it's used in John. Then I can click it, click down to, to actually view the verse where this uh, Greek word is used. And that's great as long as uh, we stay within the, the New Testament. But let's say uh, in my lesson I want to uh, uh, make references to the Old Testament where the words salvation or similar Hebrew words uh, are used to describe salvation or to talk about the concept of uh, uh, coming salvation. So what I'm going to do is uh, click on the Strong's cross-reference uh, link which will show up if the Strong's cross-reference tool uh, is installed and uh, you're viewing a Strong's uh, definition. So I'm going to hit Strong's cross-reference here and what we're seeing here since we're in the New Testament looking at a Greek word what we're looking for is uh, Hebrew words uh, used in the Old Testament that are similar not necessarily exactly the same but words that are similar in concept uh, and this uh, should be a pretty simple one for salvation. So the first word that uh, we come up with is uh, Hebrew word 3444, Yeshua. So I'm going to tap on it to actually bring up the definition for that Hebrew word. And uh, one of the things uh, I like to do right away is uh, click on find and see where this particular Hebrew word is used uh, throughout the Old Testament. And uh, first, uh, first reference here is in Genesis chapter 49. And uh, I have waited, uh, I have waited for thy salvation, O Lord. So that sounds like it'd work pretty well in my lesson. I want to save that for later. If I tap on the KJVS link here, I have the option to go bookmark that verse. It'll be saved to the bookmarks screen, and then I can go back and look at it later. Um, it sounds also uh, like uh, I might want to use. Uh, reference from Jonah. Uh, that would probably work into the lesson pretty well. And so I'm going to tap on Jonah to see uh, it's used, uh, this Hebrew word is used once in, in Jonah, chapter 2-9. Uh, that looks good. Salvation is of the Lord. That's a great reference. So I'm going to go ahead and bookmark that one as well. And we'll come back to that uh, when we're working on the lesson. Um, so that's all for one specific uh, related word. We can go and preview other related words and uh, uh, just look at their definition to see if if it uh, makes sense for what you're what you're studying. Uh, again, uh, the uh, Strong's cross reference cross reference tool uh, cross references Hebrew words for a given Greek word in the New Testament, and if you're in the Old Testament, it will cross reference Greek words for a given Hebrew uh, word in the Old Testament. Uh, so that's uh, the Strong's cross reference tool. I hope you uh, enjoy using it.